What is going on guys, this is Spigs and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, you guys haven't actually heard anything of me. I've been gone for like, longer than a week, I guess. I've been chilling with friends, been going to places with friends, you know, it's summer. That's how it should be. I actually have a great story for you guys, well, great and fucked up story. I mean, what happened to my friend it was fucked up. So, it all happened like, about a week. No, no, we can, we're not gonna do that. So it happened like around seven days ago. I'm just gonna say seven days. It happened like seven days ago, and my friend and me, we had like, we had to organize like a party. We organized like a party, a big party with friends. All right, we had to, we had to fix everything and put everything up. Like we had to put up the stage and stuff and get all the drinks ready and shit. You know, just the main things of a party. I don't know if most of you guys go party or whatever. Me and my friend, like one of my best friends, we had to, like, we were outside. We, I was thinking of doing one little thing inside to keep the door open. Because whenever the door opens, uh, closes, you couldn't really get back in and unless someone inside opens the door for you. So I went outside to get, like, this big block. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a big block and you could actually... Uh, it, it's pretty heavy. I go outside. I want to take this block, but this I, I forgot about the door, and the door actually shuts down. Uh, and I forgot about that. And my friend actually told me he would open it for me, and I was like, "All right, open it for me." But there was a fence, and he had to jump over it to get to reach to the uh, to the other door to open it for me. But all right. Oh my God, this kid! I keep on getting hit markers. Fuck off, you fucking little. Look, his title is even fucking NoobTuber. Why would you, why would you even be proud of it? But alright, back to the story. My friend had to jump over the fence. And I'm actually fucking killing it right now. What the fuck is going on? Oh, fuck off. No, I was one way. Oh, fuck off, kid. So, he had to jump over a fence to reach to me and to reach to the door. And open it for me. So alright, I'm just standing there outside and waiting for him to jump over the fence. So I was like, alright, hurry. But I forgot about the fence being unstable. Like it wasn't really that stable to, to jump over. And I totally forgot telling my friend because if 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 you fuck up, you you fuck up, you know? So alright, my friend is like uh he's like, alright, I'll jump over it right now. He jumps over it and the moment he jumps over it, I'm like, no, watch out, it's unstable. And he actually fell with his back, like it was it was so fucking slow motion. I don't know what the hell that was, but it was so fucking weird. And my friend actually fell with his back on the fence. I thought it was nothing special. I mean I didn't think of anything being broken. So alright, he fell with his back on the fence and I'm like I'm just kind of laughing because it was kind of funny the moment itself but I didn't think of anything too serious and he's like I don't know moaning like you know when you have when you have pain and I'm just like what the fuck happened and he's like dude check my hand and his hand is just full of blood and I'm like what the fuck happened he just shows me his finger and his fucking top finger his nail and his flesh of his finger it was just gone. I didn't know where it fucking went, but it was just gone. And it was so fu- uh, You could see his fucking bone out. I, I was just standing there, I didn't really know what to do. It was fucking Ah, uh, it was so weird seeing a real bone. I never really saw it in real life. I never seen anyone breaking- like, I don't know. You, it was so fucking weird and I thought I actually could watch it but the moment he showed me I was actually about to puke and it was so disgusting I mean it was so real I, I don't know it, it, of course it's real but it was just so weird it was my first time seeing something like that I'm just standing there like what the fuck do I need to do and you could see his bow and everything I'm like fuck I need to get my other friend I'm about to reach my other friend and he was just sitting there I, I, I really didn't I was just shocked I didn't know what to do. My friend is just sitting there, I'm just gonna get my other friend to help him. And I reach my other friend and he's like, what What happened? And I'm like, dude, there's something happened, come with me. But he didn't really believe me. I was just standing there like a complete weirdo, like, dude, come, come, come. And he just didn't listen. I'm like, dude, I, I couldn't really com tell him what really happened because I was so shocked. And alright, he comes with me, he comes along with me. And I show him what actually happened, and we're like, we're just both shocked. We gave him some Red Bull and uh, you know something cold. My friend actually called his mom because his mom is actually a nurse, 
and he called his mom and his mom said we have to go to the hospital right away and my friend was like nah why why does this have to happen to me because it was a big party and he really wanted to be there and you know he was a part of it and all right uh he goes to the hospital and he's like i'm gonna come back later i'm like all right but the only thing missing of his finger was his fucking flesh and nail and we're like we need to look that we need to check where it actually is because it was so fucking weird he actually lost it and i actually found out where it was it was somewhere like it was inside the fence like there was an opening in the fence it wasn't that totally closed like it was so weird that it was still open i actually took the nail with the flesh I told my friends to take a cup full of ice and they actually got it and I'm like we need to put it in the ice. Everybody was like what the fuck would they even do with that fucking nail and flesh and then it's that big. I'm like dude he can, if he doesn't have it he doesn't ha even have a fucking full finger. Like they didn't really listen to me I'm like fuck it I'm just gonna do it. And I did it and my friend he went with it to the hospital and he afterwards he actually came back from the hospital he's been he was gone for about like six hours or something he comes back five six hours later to the party it was like around midnight and i was i was so happy to see him back he's one of my best friends and he really wanted to come and there he is i'm like and he, he he comes straight to me and he says dude thank you like he actually if he didn't have that fucking flesh and uh, nail with him he wouldn't have a full finger and one of his fingers was also broken he was really happy to to have me by his side like or else he wouldn't have a full finger and I was pretty fucked up for him and yeah that's pretty much what actually happened today we still made a fun night of it because of what it was a solo party and we actually got pretty big with the party and well he, he also enjoyed his time you know it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun in it we just joked around with him like at br having a broken finger and stuff you know I'm like dude how are you going to supposed to play games we're just laughing around you know I don't, I don't mind that Life shouldn't be that desperate, you know? What is life being desperate like? It's, it's, that's fucked up. If you guys want some more stories, let me know. I got some more left for you guys, some great stories. Before I end this video, I want to tell you guys that I will be gone for like another week or longer. Because I'm actually going to a festival that actually lasts like 7 days or something. I could actually make some videos of the festival. So let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and for the new people, subscribe only if you enjoyed. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Deuces.